Hi everyone, welcome back to my vlog. It's Amin here and today we are filming another week in my life. It's actually Tuesday today. I completely forgot to vlog anything yesterday. It was not a very exciting day. I am now on week four of my job and I just went to work and I came back home and I worked on my thesis for a bit. We are starting to get ready to submit for publications that's what i did and then i watched the bachelorette and then i struggled to fall asleep so i was really really tired today um you've probably heard me say this so many times but i do not function well on less than eight hours of sleep and i definitely did not get that last night so today i came back from work i took a shower usually my co-workers and i we do like a 45 minute walk on our uh, lunch break so i get really sweaty so i come home and i shower right away and now i'm drinking tea it's about 5 45 so i have some tea here i'm gonna watch superstore <laughs> i have been obsessed with superstore the show not the store i also love superstore the store but i've been watching the show superstore like I'm on season four and it's just like it's like nice to have in the background. It's pretty chill. It's funny. And then I'm going out to dinner tonight. <sighs> it's hard like making schedules and plans with people because I'm an adult now and I have things to do. So anyways, I'm excited to eat some good food today. Um, and like patios are open in Ontario, so I'm excited to be on a patio, but I just need like half an hour of doing nothing before I start getting ready, before I have to leave to be in public again. I just got home and I realized I also forgot to vlog at the restaurant. I'm just not very good at this vlogging thing these days. Um, I feel like I've been a little bit out of it. I'm out of breath because I walked up the stairs, but I'm pretty much just gonna change into my pajamas and watch some more superstore i got my tv up on the wall so now i can sit in my bed and watch tv and then i sleep at 10 or i try to start sleeping at 10 so that i have eight hours before i wake up in the morning and repeat everything so i'm back home from work and i just took a shower i'm just about to eat some dinner so i thought i would give you an update so Tonight is actually one of my study nights. So I mentioned this on my channel before, but I am studying to write my board exams this August. And I study, my schedule right now is basically I study two hours for two weeknights, like after work, and then one entire weekend, either Saturday or Sunday. And it's honestly like not that bad right now for a few reasons. Number one is because I'm living at home with my family, which means I don't really have a lot of responsibilities. Like I don't have to go grocery shopping. I don't have to cook my meals. Like my mom is literally making dinner for me right now. Um, I still make my lunches by myself. So I still meal prep on Sundays for the entire week. But in terms of like everything else, I don't have to do much, which is nice because then I have like free time to be studying. And then number two, Ontario is still pretty much in lockdown right now, so I don't feel any FOMO about missing any social events. And if I do have something planned socially, I am quite a planner, so I will like work around it. So for example, I like to say that I study on Tuesday and Thursday evenings, but like yesterday I went out to dinner, so I didn't study. And today I'm studying on Wednesday night instead. So that's kind of what I'm doing. And it's also kind of nice to be studying at the same time because I think everything stays in your mind and it's more easy to like remember things. So like for example, today I had a patient with a family history of cystic fibrosis and I actually studied CF last week so then I was able to answer some of her questions with more confidence because I just reviewed it so recently and I think at the end of this video I will give you an overview on all the patients I've seen this week like all the cases that I've counseled I think it's just easier for me to do it all at once so probably on Friday or Saturday I'll do that and if you're interested in learning more about that keep on watching
another day back from work exhausted and i'm going out again <laughs> i'm going to another patio with my friends um so i just took a shower and i'm deciding which outfit i'm gonna wear but i put it up on my instagram because i really just couldn't decide and also don't want to use my brain power <laughs> to decide which outfit to wear so i'm gonna start getting ready and i'll show you what the options are so we have this dress over here and this is from Dynamite. It's a few years old. It's definitely wrinkly. I hate, absolutely hate ironing clothes, but I just can't get away with not ironing this one. And then here we just have some wide leg pants that are also very old and a shirt from American Eagle, like a crop top situation. So we'll see what people decide. Okay, I went with the pants and shirt option. I'm pretty sure it won by like a landslide, but I haven't been checking. I am going to bring my camera with me. I have never vlogged in public with an actual camera. I've just been using my cell phone until I actually bought this camera. So if you've noticed a change in the quality, let me know if you like it because um, this was an investment piece. But I'm going to take my camera with me. I'm kind of scared. I hope I don't break it because it was a lot of money. But the reason I bought it was so that I could vlog in public and I just it would just be a waste if I didn't use this opportunity so the next clip will be me in public vlogging <laughs> Um, it took me an extra half an hour to get home today because I've just traffic and it's raining so that always makes things worse um, but today's Friday <laughs> I'm excited it's the weekend um, it's actually another study day for me which is not as exciting but I did get Starbucks before getting on the road because number one I saw how long it was gonna take me and then number two I'm studying tonight so I thought it would be good to have some caffeine to fuel me I don't know why why did I say caffeine like that it's caffeine 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 I don't know anyways um and now I'm just gonna take a little bit of a break eat some dinner take a shower and study Okay, so I actually have not started studying yet. It's like 7.30. I got a couple of packages. Um, I ordered some clothes, obviously. So I ordered like summerish clothes from H&M and Zara. And for H&M, I'm going to be doing a reel on my Instagram. So that will already be up by the time this video is posted. So you should go check out my Instagram <laughs> to see all of my clothes. I'm really excited about it. And then for Zara, I haven't unboxed it yet because I am getting my shipment in two packages and I've never shopped at Zara before. So I'm going to make it more of like a reaction video and that one will be on YouTube. I think like two to three weeks after this vlog goes up. So subscribe to my channel if you want to see my experience with Zara. Honestly, I'm really scared. I feel like from, I'll say it again in the video, but I feel like Zara is just a more expensive version of H&M. And it's just so not user friendly and the sizing is so off. So I'm honestly really scared. I don't know what's going to fit me and what's not going to fit me. I tried to size up in a lot of those things, but I guess we'll just see when I get my second package how that goes. But now I'm actually going to start studying. I'm sweaty from changing my clothes, which is kind of sad, but whatever. So now I'm going to study and then I'm going to treat myself to watching a movie, a rom-com probably. And then I will catch you tomorrow to talk about my cases. I did not forget about that, um, but I will definitely be too tired tonight. So I'll tell you about them tomorrow. Hi everybody, it's Sunday. I have not ended the vlog yet, so I thought it would be a good time for me to do that now. Basically all day yesterday on Saturday, I just studied. That's kind of the way like I explained my schedule before. One weekend day, I just have to study all day, so that's what I did, pretty boring. And then this morning, I met with my study group, who are my two roommates, Angel and Sam, who you met in my previous vlogs. So we have a study group going and we meet once a week just to make sure that we're all 
on the same track and kind of to keep ourselves accountable but also ask each other questions so we met this morning for about an hour and then i got dressed up as you can tell i did a instagram reel and then i had to take pictures for a thumbnail for a workwear haul video that video actually went up the week before this vlog so that's what i was doing all day today and editing and taking pictures basically just making content um, and then uh, now I realize I need to end this vlog. So I told you I would talk through the cases that I've been seeing as a prenatal genetic counselor. So as of right now, I'm only doing prenatal. Um, I'm not quite sure if I will be doing cancer or not, kind of just depends on how the clinic is functioning, which is fine by me. As long as I'm doing prenatal, I'm a happy girl. And for the most part, what I've been doing so far is I don't, I don't have a full caseload yet because I'm still new and I've been doing a lot of preconception counseling and now I'm starting to do some more prenatal kind of like higher risk prenatal counseling. So for the most part, the preconception cases we see a lot are around hemoglobinopathy. So people either being affected or being a carrier for things like sickle cell disease, SC disease, alpha thalassemia, beta thalassemia. So a lot of explaining that to patients and their partners. And then obviously the possibilities for either the current pregnancy or future pregnancies. And then um, in terms of the prenatal side, like actual pregnant individuals, a lot of it is people who have come back high risk for a screening test. So either the first trimester screen or the NIPT and organizing like an amniocentesis or a CVS for them. And just having some of those conversations about like, what would you do if this did come back positive for either like Down syndrome or monosomy X or triple X or things like that. So I'm really enjoying it so far, which is great. Um, definitely this is a right fit for me in terms of the job and the team and the tasks that I do on a regular basis. I'm really happy with where I ended up and I'm really excited to keep learning, um, especially like learning on my own, obviously, but also learning from everybody that's around me and all the patients. I feel like everyone is just so nice and so welcoming and just so grateful that there's someone there to explain all of these things to them. So that's kind of everything that I've been doing. If you want to keep up with what I'm doing and how things are going for me, definitely subscribe to my channel. I am going to be trying to vlog like at least once a month. I would like to do a vlog um, just to kind of get more of an insight into my life. And I'm thinking about, some of you might have already noticed, I used to post videos on Sunday, every Sunday, but I'm thinking it will work better for my schedule to do it on Mondays so that I have that extra day on the weekend to kind of make sure I have everything edited and ready to go, especially since I'm doing the whole studying for boards thing on the side. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was an exhausting week because I was socially drained from my two events um, while also studying and like sleeping trying to sleep full-time and then working full-time and talking to patients at work pretty much all day long so as an introvert i was pretty drained so i was kind of happy to have all day yesterday to just study and be by myself and if you enjoyed this vlog give it a huge thumbs up if you want to see more from me again subscribe thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye are we doing again just you and i